Inclusion body myositis, or IBM, is a rare and complex muscle disease that primarily affects older adults. It causes significant weakness and wasting of muscles, making everyday tasks increasingly difficult. IBM is classified as a type of inflammatory myopathy, which is a group of diseases characterized by muscle inflammation. This means that the body's immune system mistakenly attacks its own muscle tissue, leading to chronic inflammation. This immune attack results in inflammation and subsequent damage to the muscle fibers. IBM is a progressive disease, which means that the symptoms and muscle weakness gradually worsen over time. As the disease advances, patients may find it increasingly challenging to perform daily activities such as walking, lifting objects, or even swallowing. Unfortunately, there is currently no cure for IBM, but ongoing research aims to find more effective treatments. However, various treatments are available to help manage symptoms and slow down the progression of the disease. These include physical therapy, medications, and lifestyle changes. Early diagnosis and treatment are crucial in managing IBM effectively, as they can help improve the quality of life for those affected by this challenging condition. IBM typically affects individuals over the age of 50. It is more common in men than in women. The exact prevalence of IBM is unknown. However, it is considered a rare disease. Estimates suggest that IBM affects about 1 to 9 individuals per million people worldwide. Due to its rarity and often subtle onset, IBM can be challenging to diagnose. Living with IBM can result in significant healthcare costs. These costs encompass various aspects of managing the disease. These include doctor visits, diagnostic tests, and physical therapy. Additionally, medications to alleviate symptoms and assistive devices like walkers or wheelchairs contribute to the overall expenses. The annual cost of managing IBM can vary depending on the severity of the condition and individual healthcare needs. Section 4. The course of IBM and affected muscles. In this section, we will explore how IBM or inclusion body myositis affects various muscles in the body over time. IBM typically progresses slowly over many years. This gradual progression can make it difficult to diagnose early on, as symptoms may be subtle at first. The disease usually begins with weakness in specific muscles. These initial signs often prompt individuals to seek medical advice and undergo muscle strength tests. These muscles include the finger flexors, wrist flexors, which are crucial for hand movements and gripping objects, and quadriceps or thigh muscles, which are essential for walking and maintaining balance. As IBM progresses, individuals may experience difficulty with everyday activities. These include gripping objects, buttoning clothes, and climbing stairs. Such challenges can significantly impact daily life and independence. In later stages, IBM can affect muscles involved in swallowing and breathing. This can lead to complications such as difficulty eating and respiratory issues, requiring medical interventions and support. Section 5. Inflammation and Degeneration in IBM IBM is characterized by two main disease processes. These processes are inflammation and degeneration. Inflammation is a part of the body's natural immune response to injury or infection. In IBM, however, the immune system mistakenly attacks muscle fibers, leading to chronic inflammation. Degeneration, on the other hand, refers to the gradual breakdown and loss of muscle tissue. Section 6. The Role of Sirolimus in Potential Treatment Sirolimus, also known as rapamycin, is a medication that has shown some promise in treating IBM or inclusion body myositis. This rare muscle disease leads to progressive muscle weakness and degeneration, making daily activities increasingly difficult for those affected. It belongs to a class of drugs called mTOR inhibitors, which are known to modulate the immune system and promote cell survival. By inhibiting the mTOR pathway, sirolimus can potentially reduce inflammation and prevent further muscle damage. While more research is needed to fully understand its efficacy and long-term effects, Early studies suggest that sirolimus may help slow down muscle degeneration and improve muscle function in some individuals with IBM. Patients have reported improvements in muscle strength and a reduction in the progression of symptoms. Clinical trials are ongoing to further investigate its potential benefits and optimal dosage regimens. These studies aim to determine the most effective way to use sirolimus in treating IBM, ensuring that patients receive the maximum benefit with minimal side effects. 
Researchers are hopeful that Sirolimus could become a key component in the management of this challenging condition.